the winter time don't play any games. What's up everybody, it's Strange Shoes. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're a channel subscriber, thanks for coming back. I appreciate you as I always say today. I have for you guys a um, moisturization routine for the winter time for your locks. As you can see, I'm not looking very video ready and that's because I'm about to shoot another video. So I wanna show you all how I moisturize my hair in between days. You know, I do, it can get a little neglected at times, but it's not necessarily neglected. It's just, you know, the wind has been really harsh here in Texas. So you see that there, that, those indentations in my hair. I am getting ready for a video. Um, my hair is in need of a wash. I think I washed it a week and some change ago. So I'm not ready to wash it again, but it is kind of like, it's not its best right now. And I like to look camera ready on camera, but y'all are getting behind the scenes scoop of what my hair looks like when it's a little, it's a little dry. No, it's not that bad. It's, it's not. It's not that bad. So my first step is usually either water or leave-in conditioner because today we're going for, you know, a certain kind of vibe. This has black vanilla in it. I'm just, I'm, I'm the aromatherapy is what I want. So we're going with our leave-in conditioner. I just like to go in with that first because I don't want to use a whole bunch and I also don't want my hair like soaking wet. In other cases, I will use this water bottle which can make my hair too wet almost. Not all the time, but I usually go overboard with the water. But you see how that, you see all that? Let me show y'all one more time. Let me do the slow motion for y'all so y'all can see. Hopefully. You see, that's a lot of water. But well, here we are. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of water. That's enough right there. So going over it again to make it more professional. First step when moisturizing your hair, especially if in the winter, but of me is either water or leave-in conditioner. Today I did both for the sake of the demonstration. Now, after I go in with my liquid, I like to go in with my oil. So we're not straying too far away from the LOC method back in the natural hair girl days. You remember, you remember YouTube LOC method or LCO, whichever version they use, we're not going far from that. So my, my next step is going to be oil. Now I use spray oil and palm oil. And for the sake of today's demonstration, we're gonna do both. I'm showing y'all like my low maintenance and my high maintenance versions all together. Any product you see that is a product, it's high maintenance. You know, we're probably going on a little get together. You wanna smell good. I don't like wearing perfume because I got sensitive skin. So I put all of my smell good in my hair. So this is Sandalwood and Grapeseed by Beauty and Planet. Go up in here. As you can see, we're almost out of this, but every, come on now, every bit counts, every bit counts. So I usually go into the perimeter and the crown of my head with my spray oil. My other spray oil, which got a lot of popularity in my starter locks do's and don'ts video, is this Sister Lock Dreadlock Braids Moisturizing Oil by Daily Natural Hair Care. I told y'all this is my professor. I don't, he does not ask me to plug him. Like I just do because I want to, like, cause I like this stuff. I like these products. Now I think he might've changed. This was a prototype. So it doesn't look like this on the website anymore. I'll actually link this down below and then insert a picture so you can see what this product looks like now. Cause this is just like a, a prototype. So you can either go in and do the exact same thing like I did with the first product or you could spray it in your hand like that, like so like that rub it through your hands like such and then rake it through rake it through rake it through all right we're getting somewhere smelling real good you know this is aromatherapy right here we're really getting into the vibe to film because the sun is setting it is only 320 but i the sun bruh it just be disappearing the last oil i use is 100 percent Pure Argan Oil by Shea Moisture. I don't know how long I've had this one either, but it's just like a little pump, pump it into my hand. You might say, hey, you're going kind of heavy handed with the oil. And it's like, yeah, because it's winter time. And in winter time, 
especially in Texas, it could be it could be 70 degrees the day before and then it could drop to 20 with no real warning. Like of course the forecast will say that, but as a Texan, do you believe the forecast? Not really. I always put the excess on my elbows, FYI. So I usually go a little heavy handed with the oil in the winter time because my scalp needs it, my hair shaft needs it, every single lock needs a little bit of oil, especially in the back, which feels kind of dry. Did I lift my hair up? I don't think I lifted my hair up. I don't, it felt dry back there. See, you gotta be thorough, you gotta be thorough. The winter time don't play any games. And water and oil is fine, it's fine, it's fine. So now that I have added water, leave-in conditioner, which is my L, and then oil, my O, I'm going in with my cream. Now this is another prototype of the daily natural hair care products. I've had this butter, it, this, it's called a hair growth and scalp treatment and it's labeled as leave-in conditioner but I would just want y'all to hear the ingredients so you know that it's more of a cream. Like this is not, this is not a joke. Like I use this and it lasts such a long time. So the ingredients include water, shea butter, organic coconut oil, tea tree oil, Jamaican black castor oil. It's just a lot of oils in here, it's a lot of cream but it's the winter time and your hair, my hair specifically, because I don't want to speak for everyone else. I I need this to keep moisture in my hair or, or else, Elsewise, my hair is gonna be looking like Michael Jackson in the Wiz. So, I put that cream in my hands, slather through like this, and I just rake through my hair. Rake through my hair with one hand on one side because even if I try to do it evenly, it just doesn't feel right to do both hands at one time. I like to like just rake over my hair with each hand so Everybody's getting a little bit of love. Come in to the sides. You know what? I'm gonna just, just a little bit more. So it's really, this is an, ah, ooh, I'm about to drop. Precious product, we don't want that. Psh, we don't want that at all. Now I am going in just a little bit more because I want to, and I'm patting. Patting the perimeter because if you have low porosity hair, you know your hair just really will mess around and act like you've denied it moisture. Like your hair hasn't had hasn't seen water in three years, and it's just it's not the move. So I go in and I make sure all of that is fully worked into my locks. Going around the perimeter again, and voila. Now, I don't know how my hair looks. I don't remember. I don't even remember how my hair looked before I added all of this luscious nourishment to it. I don't remember. Because now, we have movement, we have body. It doesn't look anything like it did when I first took out my ponytail. Now we're gonna figure out our part before we film. Because I'm feeling, I'm filming a very, very exciting video para me, simply because if you like pay attention to my entire channel, it's not just locks, it's a lot of other stuff going on as well, but if you, you're interested, go check that out. So the video I'm filming today, hopefully gets uploaded today, and this video will be like soon after that, because one of my superpowers, hint, hint, is filming a video or two or three in a day, so now I'm gonna change my shirt, put on some earrings, put on some jewelry, and reapply my lip gloss, and I'll be right back. All right, now I'm back. I had to take some time to figure out my part because y'all know I take my part, my deep side part, very seriously, and I was being a little bit picky. But now it looks pretty good. Again, my hair is not clean, so it's not gonna do exactly what I want, but the moisturization though. Like, can we just, can you see the shine? Or am I like doing too much? Can you see it? That is my full lock moisturization routine. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope y'all like that. I hope that works for you. If it does not, my apologies. This works for my hair. This is what keeps my hair looking good and growing nicely, especially in the winter time. This is my second winter locked. So I learned from last winter that 
water and a little bit of oil is just not gonna cut it because it's not the summertime. Because I locked my hair initially in April, which was the summertime. So learning from last year, I have to go a little bit heavier handed. I have to use a little bit more oil, a little bit more cream. I have to go into my, my scalp from, you know, rooted to the tuta or whatever. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you next time. Peace.